Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to our Lee Sung Woo career mode here. Um, getting closer to the end of our time at Aberdeen, I believe next episode is going to be our last episode here. Um, we're going to have four games in this episode so that we only have the last three in the next one. So in this one, we have a couple games in the Premier League and, or in the Premiership, whatever they call it here. And then we also have a cup game as well. So we managed to grab a pretty early goal here in the 13th minute. Um, not really too involved. I mean, I managed to uh, just get the ball at like a nice little pass. And I mean, Rooney, Rooney just smashes that ball and it curves beautifully into the top right corner and giving us a 1-0 lead. So... Um, the team's been playing well. Uh, it's actually kind of impressing. You know, whenever I came in, I don't know if you guys remember, but um, I was saying that, you know, this is going to kind of be a team that I'm going to have to be the star of to kind of get the best out of them. I really wasn't sure what kind of team I was coming into. So um, it's good to see that as a collective that the entire team's playing well and that Rooney's doing incredibly well, making my partnership with him a little bit easier. And it's definitely kind of getting me in a good position to go back to Barcelona where I'm going to kind of be able to get back into the mindset of playing with a, um, a good player next to me and a good striker next to me. Um, obviously, if I'm going to be playing up the middle, I'll have, um, I'll have Neymar and Messi on my flanks, even Suarez possibly available at times as well. So um, it's definitely going to be a fun time nonetheless. So, uh, you know, we started off here in Aberdeen definitely better than I think we're finishing um, we were scoring a lot more often obviously we weren't I don't think it was ever gonna be that we were gonna score every game this is an easier league but I definitely didn't think it was gonna be that much easier um, I really do or I am glad rather that our stats are coming up as quickly as they are as you guys see everything's kind of progressing pretty well we're getting pretty close to that 78 rated um, just need a couple stats to come up a little bit more. I definitely want to work on our passing a little bit. Um, if we are going to be playing in that Barcelona squad, we need our long passing and short passing to uh, succeed, even if we are just a striker. So um, game here against Dundee United in the Scottish Cup. Um, this is the semifinal. Like I said, I, it was always pretty certain that we were going to make it through and then play... Um, uh, Celtic in the final so wasn't really too surprising but definitely wanted to try to play this game and try to grab another goal for us so um, definitely looking forward to what should be the final of the cup in the next episode it's going to kind of be the, like the last game in our career here at Aberdeen before we go back to Barcelona so um, talking a little bit I guess yeah like like I was saying about this team um, it's definitely a team that surprised me, and I, th I think I said this in the last episode as well. Uh, this is uh, a team that definitely is going to be challenging Celtic. I think they're just a couple players away, especially with the way that Rooney's playing. Um, obviously, this is all talking about FIFA, real life, completely different monster, but here in the 45th minute, we have an opportunity to run down the side of the box and try to work our way in. Uh, just really wasn't really seeing too many options, so just kind of passed it back out, get, managed to get the ball again, tried to do the same route, just run it into the box, work my way around the defense, and just try to try to pick out a pass somewhere because I don't think I was going to score from that angle. Um, ended up passing it straight to the keeper, so at the end of the first half, we are still at a nil-nil draw going into the second half of this cup game. So... Um, here in the 49th minute we get another opportunity and it just falls perfectly to my right foot and we are able to grab another goal so sadly these goals don't count towards my season goals that the board sets up for me um, we're kind of on track to manage to grab the majority of our um, the majority of our goals I think the only thing we're looking for is some more assist which obviously you guys saw in that first game we managed to grab one so hopefully we can keep that going um, we managed to complete our 20th game, so managed to grab a whole bunch of uh, attribute points there, bringing us a little bit closer to that 78 rated. Um, I don't know, I, we may hit it in this training session. Um, we get close, obviously the higher rated you get, the longer it'll take to start getting it up. I need to change out all of those 
um, attribute training session so that we can start working on stuff that I definitely need to work on to make myself an all-around player. I'm kind of getting to the point where I'm just working on stats that are already good and just making them better, which never hurts, but you definitely want to try to make yourself an all-around player more so than uh, focusing on a few attributes. So here in the uh, 41st minute, 42nd minute of the Premier League game here, um, we managed to actually grab another goal as a team. Uh, another goal where I'm not kind of involved again. I mean, I, I was working my way around the ball. I was definitely part of the passing. Kind of wish I was able to grab another goal here because, like I said, those cup games are not counting for us in terms of um, goals scored. So it, that, that one's not going to count for us in any way. There was no assist or goal, uh, goal created there from us. But uh, good to see us still scoring goals nonetheless. Obviously, Celtic is out of reach. So we're just kind of playing to keep fitness up and keep, uh, keep in good form. So that when we go into the final cup game, that we are able to um, put, up against, put up a good fight against Celtic and hopefully win the game. It's definitely going to be a hard one. Celtic is still the best team in the league for a reason. Um, there's no question in that. Uh, obviously, they haven't lost a game. We got close to beating them uh, when we did play them last episode, but to no avail, a little disappointing. But we do come off the pitch in the 56th minute to a 1-0 victory. So, uh, like, like I said, the team's been playing really well. I've kind of been in and out of form. Um, a little disappointing, so kind of another reason why I wanted to play another game here. Um, coming into this, you know, I noticed I haven't really been showing you guys the targets um, and the targets I should be hitting, so I'd definitely be throwing those in the episode more often. Um, here, I was about to play in this game because, I mean, I was picked for the lineup, but then I was like, you know what? My player is exhausted. We have another game coming up in a week. I'm just going to rest myself. There's no reason for me to put that stress on me. So we end up getting a draw, a 1-1 draw in that game without us playing in the game. But it's definitely going to help us out in the long run. I hate burning out my player as much as I have been. So another training session here getting us a little bit closer. Um, obviously our overall didn't really move at all. But we did start moving more attributes up to kind of move it a little bit faster. So... Um, the last game of this episode, I believe, is going to be against Dundee United again, um, but we're going to be playing them, obviously, in the Scottish Premiership um, this time around. So uh, this is kind of one of our last chances. We have two more games in the Premier Premiership after this. Obviously, we're kind of in that second stage of the league where we're only playing the top teams in the league, which is fun. I do like that idea. It is, uh, it's an interesting idea, and... Um, it seems to work pretty well. Obviously, it would work better if um, if Celtic wasn't running away with the league. So I, this may honestly kind of spark a series idea for me. I may move some of the top teams like I'm doing with my League of Nations, but do it with the League of Champions uh, like I did prior to and have that two-stage idea where the top eight teams end up playing each other in the second half of the season or the second stage of the season rather and just kind of let it work out that way i think it'd be kind of an interesting idea we'll kind of see how it goes um uh, i'll play around with the idea obviously before i put it up on the channel um or i may do maybe a live stream of it uh live streaming something that i'm definitely going to be working towards here in the next, I would say, month or so, I'm going to be working on getting, one, a better mic, and two, a webcam so I can start streaming. I'll probably keep webcams off of my career modes because, as you guys know, my career modes have all been kind of uh, post-gameplay um, commentary. I don't really, I haven't been doing the live commentary when I'm playing this because I've been kind of focusing on it, but when it comes to streaming, I don't really mind live comming it. Um, so I'll probably go ahead and grab a... Um, grab a webcam, grab a new mic. I, I'm still working on my room, like I said a few days ago. If you guys didn't see that episode, I know there's a lot more of you who watch this series than some of my other series on the channel, which I do really appreciate the support that you guys have been giving this series. It's incredible. Um, I, I love that you guys are so behind this and everybody's enjoying this series. So, um, But I have been rearranging my setup and there's some stuff I need to do with the back wall behind me. Uh, a little bit of art type stuff that I want to be doing um, a little setup video might be coming we'll see uh, that that'll kind of be like one of those milestone videos I think but the back wall definitely I want to get set up with a little bit of something w before I get that webcam in involved so um, 
like I said, streaming's definitely coming. As you guys see, this game's really not going too well. We had a lot of opportunities in this first half to grab goals. A um, little disappointed not to. We had a lot, like I said, a lot of opportunities. Nothing really came to fruition, though. Uh, a lot of missed chances, scuff chances, hitting it straight into defenders, and uh, just just a lot of struggle all the way around. But here in the 45th minute, right before uh, the halftime mark, I managed to grab another assist for myself. You know, the near post OP just wanted to go ahead and pass that off, and just he kicked it straight at the keeper. Keeper ends up knocking it into the net and uh, conceding an own goal. So actually, I don't know if I, I guess I don't get the um, the assist for that. So that may be what ends up causing my um, my goal issues at the end of the season. Um, nonetheless, we're still playing well. We're still uh, impressing the board enough. So things are going pretty well. As you guys see, the last episode is going to be against uh, the last three teams. We're going to play Celtic twice and Hearts once. And that is going to be the end of the episode. If you guys did enjoy, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And until the next one, I'll see you guys later.